Right, welcome to Talk From The Terraces. Uh, we seem to have a new film coming out from Nick Love and Danny Dyer. Writer and director Nick Love and actor Danny Dyer are teaming up again to make the drug-focused dark comedy thriller Marching Powder. This will be the fifth collaboration between Love and Dyer, who previously worked together on Goodbye Charlie Bright back in 2001, The Football Factory in 2004, The Business in 2005 and The Outlaw in 2007. The independent British feature starts shooting in London in January and will be released in cinemas by new distributor Trooper Entertainment. This will be Dyer's first role since leaving EastEnders. He is set to play Jack, a middle-aged drug-taking football hooligan who was arrested and given six weeks to turn his life around or else face a long spell in prison. He's juggling his marriage, his hard-nut bully of a father-in-law and his way with 25-year-old stepbrother Kenny Boy. Jack tries to get his life back on track, but slowly his world starts to spiral hilariously out of control. On the film and reuniting me with love, Danny Dyer comments, I'm buzzing to get back on the horse with Nick. He's the only fucking idiot stupid enough. Marching powder is class. We're back in the world of the football factory with more violence, more drugs and lots of fucking comedy. You're going to love it. Now we're in we're back in the world of Football Factory, but I believe this is not a sequel. This is a standalone film. Danny Dyer will not be playing a Tommy Johnson type of character because of age. He's too old now. So probably it'll be more he'll be acting the more in the way of Billy Bright from the Football Factory, just because he's older. And who did you say there was? That's him. Please don't start, Bill. What? What's one of you staring at? The big geezer with the acid cap on. See you, you cunt. I'll cut you first. Um, personally, I can't wait for this film to come out. We should be having a few films coming out soon. We should have uh, Jason Mariner's film called Headhunter and Colton Leach. He's working on a possible film um, about his life on the terraces with the original people behind Rise of the Foot Soldier. Uh, obviously, you've seen stuff on uh, social media, they're saying about me making a new film uh, with Rise of the Foot Soldier franchise. Uh, Rise of the Foot Soldier, I beef her. Number six is being filmed right now. Oh, amazing. Yeah. yeah, so we don't stop. And then we've got another one after that we're doing, Foot Soldier, I beef her. So, yeah, so it's exciting. That's what everyone's talking about. Coming back doing the film. Well, I'm not doing that film. Uh, I'm not nothing to do with that. The uh, Rise of the Soldier I be far, and I'm not making a film about Tony, Pat, and Craig. That was just a small part of my life. The film I'm making is my younger days. Uh, a young Colton. Um, I'm in negotiations at the moment with Andy Love Day. He, uh, we got together to uh, due to an idea uh, from Julian Gilby who made. The first Rise of the Foot Soldier, as you all know, is probably the best of the bunch and a cult film. Uh, that's why I want to work with Julian because I know he's brilliant and, uh, and I get along with him and we just bounce off each other. So we've been talking about it for a while. We've done a couple of little, little bits and bobs together and this is something totally new. It's a young Colton, uh, how I became me. No, I'm not gonna I mean, first football is then Bill and Endel, but it's, it's part of their lives. Yeah. It's part of how you grow up, you know what I mean? Well, it's like you, get, you get the Saturday there yeah, and it, it gets you. You know, the, the, the day grabs hold of you. And even like you think to yourself, well, we're not gonna get. Not nothing to do with being the founding member of the Essex Boys. It's nothing to do with the Essex Boys. It's my upbringing on the streets of the East End of London and my days on the football terraces. Um, <clears throat> it's going to be a blinding story if it comes off. I hope it does. Uh, so I got together with, with Andy. Uh, we had a meet up yesterday and the uh, negotiations are underway. If, if it comes off, I think it's going to be a blinder uh, and it's going to be proper old school football violence and everything. So I didn't want to really let it a cat out of the bag, but I'm getting loads and loads of uh, messages, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and um, so what I've decided is uh, to tell you all that, uh, that that's, what's, that's what's going on. Uh, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. 
and we'll see you next time.